Susan B. Anthony may be one of my favorite heroes in this whole book. And you know why? It's because Susan B. Anthony has been reduced to this lady on a coin, right? That's what it is. And people go, oh, Susan, you know, if you said you were putting together a book of famous female heroes, baby, oh, you got to put Susan B. Anthony. You know, and you know why? Nobody knows why, <laughs> right? They know she yeah. had something to do with yeah. voting. She's yeah. powerful. She has some. But here's what I love is she comes alive in this book to me. And she came alive to me when I was researching this book. Susan B. Anthony uh, goes to vote. And this is a time when women don't have the right to vote. And she goes to vote. And they say, listen, you can't vote. You're a woman. And Susan B. Anthony says, screw you. I'm voting. Here's, the, here's what the Constitution says. Here's the, you know, she literally goes and points out the clause that says everyone has, you know, equal protection. And they act, she actually convinces the poll workers to let her vote. And she casts a ballot. And you know what? That's against the law. And they say, that's against the law. You're going to be arrested for that. And they bring her down, and they arrest her, and they fine her for breaking the law. Your, women aren't allowed to vote. And she says, you know what? Screw you. I'm never. And they fine her. And they say, you have to come into the court, and we're going to, you know, we're going to have this big trial for you. It's going to be, you know, you're going to, you're going to see how wrong you are, lady. And Susan B. Anthony says, I'm not paying to go there. I won't even give you the money to get on the trolley to get down to the courthouse. So the police actually pay the trolley money. She won't give them a dollar. And she gets down to the court, and the judge basically, you know, it's this totally kind of rigged trial. The judge instructs but the jury, course. instructs the jury and says, find her guilty. She, you know, it's terrible. Um, and now she's supposed to be defeated, right? She's, and, they, and he purposely doesn't grant her an appeal because he doesn't want her to have the power to appeal it. So he, he basically, you know, plays around with the legal system so she doesn't do that. So what she does, and now she's supposed to be screwed at this point, right? Mm -hmm. Susan B. Anthony has, I love this, is she basically gets transcripts of the entire trial and gets copies of them and then mails them to every newspaper she can find, everywhere, you know, pre-internet. This isn't like you go out <laughs> and you start a website. Susan B. Anthony says, you know what? Watch what I can do. Let me show you the power of one person. And every time she can have anyone listen to her about equal rights and women voting, she is there talking about it. She is there thumping. And she dies before they pass the Women's Right to Vote Act. Um, and so people would say, wow, her life was a failure, right? She didn't succeed. It didn't happen. But when they finally pass it, it is called the Susan B. Anthony Act. This excerpt is brought to you by the Massachusetts School of Law, the leader of reform in legal education and the leader in multimedia education for the public. To view the full interview and for a full listing of MSL's programs, log on to mslaw.edu.